David Brewster with another episode of Chord Play. This is the acoustic side of Jimmy Page. And before we get started here, I need to remind everybody, I'm a huge Jimmy Page fan, a massive Led Zeppelin fan, and I have been since I was about 12 or 13 years old. And I started playing guitar because of Eddie, and technically Led Zeppelin was before my time. They were over and done with, you know, long before I even touched a guitar. But I started hearing those riffs, you know, from Jimmy. And that perked my ears up first, and I thought, hey, Black Dog and Heartbreaker and a whole lot of love from some of these songs. So I started working on the electric side first, and then some of the acoustic stuff started to creep in a little bit. And then I realized there really were two different sides, or two worlds, of Jimmy Page's music. So obviously there's the electric side and the acoustic side of Jimmy Page, and the electric side's what hit me first, like I just mentioned. But then I became curious and interested in that acoustic stuff, and of course I wanted to learn Stairway to Heaven, and Over the Hills and Far Away, Ramble On, you know, and some of those songs. But then I really became more interested in like altered tunings and other acoustic music, and Jimmy Page really was that springboard, I guess, or that stepping stone to open up that whole world of acoustic guitar and acoustic music for me. So here's an image with some of the acoustic or unplugged side of Led Zeppelin's music, and there's about 18 songs here with a heavy, you know, acoustic guitar, you know, sound or influence. So if you go back and listen to Led Zeppelin's albums and all their music, you're going to hear acoustic guitar everywhere. You know, it's all over the place, right alongside all the electric guitar parts. And there's a lot going on, you know, in Jimmy's world of acoustic guitar, different tunings and these kind of, you know, twisted, you know, chords and, and drone strings and all this stuff. So this lesson's going to start with standard tuning. And then we're going to move through methodically all these different tunings that Jimmy liked to use and compare them to songs, you know, from Led Zeppelin. And you're going to get really comfortable, you know, with altered tunings, open tunings. And we're going to end up with the rain song. So here we go. To get started here, it's going to be kind of boring because it's standard tuning, and we're not going to dive very deep into standard tuning because it's standard tuning. And you can hear this, you know, Stairway to Heaven, Over the Hills and Far Away, Tangerine. There's tons of standard tuned acoustic guitar songs, you know, in Led Zeppelin's music. So we're just, you know, E, A, D, G, B, E. And we're going to look at D major right there. So there's, you know, regular old D major, very boring. Jimmy Page's favorite chords to use are sus chords, much like Van Halen and a lot of other guitarists too. And Jimmy would kind of dazzle, like on acoustic guitar, he'd kind of dazzle, you know, major and minor chords using sus chords or suspended chords. So there's D major. Change this F sharp to E, just play the open E string, there's D sus too. Then change that high E to the G right there on the third fret, and that's uh, D sus four. So right there we had D major. Sus2, D sus4, and then D major again. You know, very basic. And then keep in mind you can use those with minor chords too. So there's D minor, D sus2, D sus4, and then D minor. And I think I've mentioned this before, but sus chords are chameleons, kind of like that, where you can use them with minor chords and they kind of sound like minor, or you can use them with major chords and they almost sound major, like this. And then twist them to minor. And they magically almost sound sad now. Next up we have drop D tuning, very very popular and common, and all we're going to do is just take the low E string and tune the low E down to a D, and that's going to create drop D tuning, like that. So now the low E is down to a D, you hear that? And then you can play these super huge D chords, so we just looked at D major and D minor and those sus chords in standard. Now in drop D you can play these massive D chords like this. You know, big six string, you know, D major chord right there play with those sus chords.
a you know Led Zeppelin song in drop D, look at the song Thank You, and you've got this. <laughs> sus chords right there you know there's you know d major but we're also playing with the sus four and the sus two like that and then you hear the root change to c and that's basically like a c add two right there or c add nine and you want to keep playing with that g f sharp and e on the top so that kind of mimics what we did over d C. And then you're going to do this G over B right there and kind of play with like G major 7 right there because we're still using that G, F sharp, and E. Something like that. So we're just moving down you know, that bass note and we're kind of keeping that, you know, on the top. and drop D too. Next up we have double drop D tuning and we're going to keep the drop D tuning we were just using with that low D. But now we're going to take the high E string and tune that down to D as well. So now we're going to have three open D strings. The low D, the regular normal, you know, middle D, and then this high D up on top. Then you can take a chord like this D sus2 and play all six strings and you're basically playing a giant D5 power chord like this. And then for a Led Zeppelin song that uses this tuning, check out Going to California and you'll hear this. basically starting with this giant just D drone like that just a bunch of D's right there and then you hear this and we're basically playing with G right there G major D uh, G major 7 and then like a G6 back to this and now we're basically playing like this D sus2 and then just D5 right there and then you hear it move up to this which is really cool and it's like a D add 11 right there to D5 you know I really like that chord progression for sure Next up is open G tuning, very popular with slide guitarists, and definitely Jimmy Page liked using open G whether he was playing a slide or not. And here we're going to basically take the double drop D tuning we were just using and we're going to modify it even further. So now we're going to take the A string and tune that down to G, and you'll have D, G, D, G, B, D, and that's open G tuning like this. 
that's the way and you're going to basically hear this tuning but it's actually tuned down an additional half step but I didn't do that I just kept it in standard tuning and then tuned it you know open G but if you want to play along with the album you know and play along with that's the way you'll need to tune everything down an additional half step just a heads up but that's the way is like this <laughs> But there's G, so just the open strings, and then right there you're basically gonna feel it's gonna feel like you're playing an A minor seven right there. But that's technically, you know, in this tuning, that's a C over G right there. So don't play the low E string. Play everything else but the low E string right there, and then move that up a whole step, and now you're playing basically an implied D over G. So you hear that? Um, basically play everything open uh, but not the low E string but then fret the fourth fret right there on the high E and that's an implied G major 7 because that's an F sharp right there so you've got this so I like the way it moves up you know that G implied C to D and then that little partial you know G major 7 and then I like the way it moves back down Next up is dad dad tuning, a very popular altered tuning. And what we're going to need to do is go back to double drop D tuning. So you don't want to start with the open G we just had. Go back to the tuning before that, the double drop D. And instead of changing the A string, now we're going to change the B string. We're going to tune that B down to A. And that's going to give you D A D G A D, or dad gad, like this. So that's basically a D sus4 right there with all the open strings open. Sus4, and that open G is the sus4. So if you think of the notes, you know, if you add the second fret, then that's basically A, and that's going to change that to D5. Okay, so this is a really popular tuning with drones, like lots of ringing, you know, open drone strings. And you could take that A, let's move it up to D right there. All right, there's, you know, C sharp, that's going to be D major 7 implied. Sus2 implied. You know, there's uh, your F sharp, there's D major. There's G, that's going to be like a D sus4 implied. Just like the open strings. Right there, you could play with that little sus4 and sus2 action we had earlier, like this. F sharp to F, and then suddenly it's uh, D minor. Right. And there's lots of stuff you can do with this tuning. Zeppelin songs and dad gad tuning, definitely check out Cashmere. That's a legendary, you know, dad gad tuned song. But then also Black Mountainside, and you'll hear some harmonics and stuff. I think it's actually White Summer Black Mountainside, but like this. And then you hear the little. So right there, you're really just hitting harmonics along, you know, the dad gad tuned strings. Which is really cool. That's ear candy. You hear that? And then the swamp 
choppy riff, it's really just outlining, you know, B, F to D. Like that. But you're doing it like this. You know, I love those really swampy riffs like that too, it's cool. Last but not least is the rain song tuning. So I have no idea where this tuning came from. I mean, was Jimmy hanging out with Joni Mitchell or something? Because it's really whacked. We've got D, G, C, G, C, D, which is so weird. So there's two Ds, you know, on the outside and then G, C, G, C right there. So I don't know where this came from. But then with the rain song, you know, he's basically starting with this G5 right there, just kind of holding the seventh fret on the D and the B. Everything else is open. He is avoiding that low uh, D string, you know, like the low E there, this tuned to D. He is avoiding that, but he does these reverse rakes right there. That's a G5. And then move down a half step, that's an implied G major seven. And then this is gonna function as G7. And then right there, that's like an E flat over G. two action in there and then you hear this you know which is beautiful and that's awesome so that's basically all implied but there's G major and a G sus 2 and then G sus 4 right there and move down to the fourth fret and that's a G6 implied and move back into that G uh, sus 2 E flat added right there, and that's going to change that to an implied uh, E flat major seven sharp eleven, which is gorgeous. You know, in the midst of all those you know G chords right there, like that. And I just love that little twist, you know, at the end of that progression. You know, it's beautiful. And then you're going to basically target this G nine basically moves up a half step and then, you know, moves down to that G9. And then you hear it twisted to G minor 9, like that. And of course it keeps going. I mean, that's one of my favorite Led Zeppelin songs. The Rain song's awesome. just whacked. I don't know where that came from, but I love it. You know, it's awesome. episode of chord play with the acoustic side of Jimmy Page and definitely Jimmy like I mentioned earlier is a huge influence on me when I was younger and he's still a huge influence on me I've read books about him learned tons of Zeppelin songs and licks and riffs and stuff chasing some of his tones and everything he had through the years so definitely I mean Jimmy Page is a legend of the guitar and of rock music acoustic music electric music I mean he really had it all and I don't know he really did kind of expose acoustic music to me Definitely, you know, sparked my interest in it. You know, before I got into Jimmy Page, I was just hopelessly obsessed with Van Halen, electric guitar. And really, Jimmy did kind of slowly open that door like, hey, you know, check this out. And of course, I wanted to learn Stairway to Heaven and some of those popular songs. And the next thing I knew, I was obsessed with acoustic guitar too, you know, thanks to Jimmy Page. So anyway, leave some feedback and comments. Please subscribe to Night Lessons, and I'll be back before you know it with more content and material. Thank you.